Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to now yield three minutes to the distinguished gentleman from Massachusetts, the Democratic Whip, uh, Ms. Clark. The gentlelady is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentleman for yielding. Listen, I'm from Boston. We want to talk about sports. I'm all in. If we want to talk about equality for women and girls, if we want to talk about Title IX and ensuring fairness in sports, sign me up. And as, as far as kids and sports go, as a mom of three, I can't tell you how many hours I have spent cheering on my kids. It's lacrosse, basketball, uh, baseball, it has been soccer, rugby, cross country, track. Um, we have seen in my family championship teams through t-ball teams where our entire goal was to just get the outfield to stop digging for worms. Um, but all of this is about kids and their experience, about learning, growing, forming friendships, knowing what it means to work hard, to practice, to see results, to be a team. So I was very interested when this bill came, uh, uh, was filed, to see what it was, what was the problem that the NCAA, that in Massachusetts and across this country, the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association and its counterparts around the country, what the Olympics, the international, um, track and field association what they were missing and i read this bill and what they're missing is nothing this is not a problem in our communities on our sports field for our children and i think it was articulated so well by the republican governor of utah when he pointed out numbers that were important to his decision to veto a similar bill. That 75,000 ki kids played high school sports in his state. Just four of them are trans kids. One of them plays girls sports. And 86% of our trans youth will have suicidal ideation and 56% will attempt suicide. What are we doing here? What are we doing here as members of Congress, whereas the governor said we are expending so much fear and division on so few, on kids? Think about what we are doing as members of the United States House of Representatives. I keep thinking about the mom who told me about her rural community where her concern was the grief because they were losing their children, losing them because there wasn't economic opportunity for them in their hometown and losing them because they were dying of opioid overdoses. Gentlewoman's time has expired. I have 10 seconds. I yield additional 10 seconds. Gentlelady's recognized. So let's think about this. We need to be working on the issues that matter to families and kids and to make these children, these children responsible for all of that, to hold them to incite fear and discrimination and hatred, you should General hang your heads in shame.